Hi, I'm Frank Spear. I want to thank you for joining me on this segment. What we're going to talk about in this segment is something that I think is very confusing for a lot of dentists, and that is the whole concept of do we connect implants and teeth? And more importantly, what actually is the mechanics or what are the risks, risks when we connect implants and teeth? And so it's a question that um, I've been asked a lot in you know, almost 30 years of education. And most people talk about it as though there's a one answer. You either say yes or no. Like most things in dentistry, that's not it at all. There's actually multiple right answers. Sometimes it's perfectly safe to connect implants and teeth, and other times it's not at all safe to connect implants and teeth. So what we need to understand is we need to under understand the mechanics of the whole process, and then we need to identify what cases would it be okay, why might you actually think about doing it, um, and when would you really be at risk if you did it. So let's just start with some very simple mechanics. What exactly happens when we splint anything, whether it's two teeth, whether it's a tooth and an implant, whether it's two implants? And it's actually quite simple. As soon as you splint things together, the forces that are applied to one of the teeth now affects the other. So if it's a tooth and an implant and you apply a force to the tooth, it affects the implant. If it's two implants, it's the same thing. And it doesn't matter if it's an occlusal force, it's going to then affect the other tooth. Or if it's a buccolingual type occlusal force, it's going to affect the other teeth. So fundamentally what splinting does is the forces applied to one now impact the other, which of course is a valuable thing in certain cases because often we can use splinting to minimize torsional stress by having the other splinted teeth negate the effects of the torsion on the actual tooth that the force is being applied to.